Hi everybody. My name is Sali Ali, welcome to Sali Tutorials. If you also have a cooking YouTube channel or are planning to create one, you will be interested in learning cooking video editing. And if you've never made a cooking video or don't know anything about editing, this video is going to be great for you. So in this video I will show you step by step how to edit cooking video in Filmora. So let's move on to the video. In the first step, we will drag videos from the media to the timeline. So drag all your videos and images to the timeline in order. As you can see, I have numbered all the footage and dragged it to the timeline accordingly. Step 2. Speed only on videos that you know are too slow or too fast. So if there is a slow clip, speed it up and when it is fast, apply slow speed. For example, if I want to speed up this video, I select the video. When you select a video, click the speed tool. And speed up 2x or 4x inside the fast tab within the speed tool. In the third step, set the duration of the images. Usually when you drag an image to the timeline, by default its duration is set to 5 seconds. To easily increase or decrease the duration of an image, hold the image with the left click of the mouse, and set the duration by dragging it forward or reverse. In step number 4 we will crop. Take a look at your project to see if any footage needs to be cropped, if need be cropped. So to crop, select any footage on the timeline, and click on the crop tool. Keep crop ratios that match your project ratios. So I select 16 to 9 here. And click OK. Fifth, we will set up the project. You can also do project settings before starting a project, but if you have to do it while creating a project, click display settings. And click change project aspect ratio. And select 16 to 9 within the aspect ratio. Click OK. In step number 6, we will add text to the video. Learn how to use different titles, where to put which titles. Click on the title to add text. For example, if I want to write the title of the video at the beginning of the video, I will find the title of the big and attractive texts accordingly. So I drag title 9 to the timeline. Make sure the title duration does not exceed the relevant footage. So in this title you can edit and write whatever you want. Double click on the title. Delete the small text at the bottom of the display screen if you don't need it. And edit this title. So I write here how to cook brown rice. Center the text. And select the text style for the text inside the preset. Click OK. Second text we will use the default text. So drag the default title to the timeline. Double click on the title. Adjust the font size. I reduce the text size to 32. And write an explanation of what you do in the footage here. And when the paragraph or sentence is complete, double enter. With this, people will clearly understand your writing. Bold the text. And apply a text style to the text. I apply text style too. Then click animation, and insert an animation on the text. So I put the Domo design animation here. OK. In the seventh step we will apply the transition to the video. Transitions are a valuable thing for video creators, helping to move the story along, convey a mood or tone to viewers, and set the stage for the next scene. 
Different transitions have different meanings and symbolism, so they should be used thoughtfully and should always serve the story. In step number 8, we will add background music. Choosing the, the perfect music for cooking videos is an important part of the recipe for success. Import some good background music. And then drag the music to the timeline. Split and delete the extra part of the music. And fade out music at the end of the music. Hope this video is helpful for you. I will bring more tips and tricks videos in quite unique ways in the future. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like the video. And if you are new to my channel, you can subscribe to the channel. See you again with a new video. Thank you.